Welcome back, everybody, to another fantastic episode of the Every Pokemon Episode Ever podcast. I am one of your hosts, Wrestling Chris G, and on the other line with me is one of my, actually, <laughs> he's one of my three brothers, is good old Dougie Fresh. Dougie man, how you doing? I'm sitting here trying to figure out if I want to be the fellow in red, the fellow in blue, or the fellow in yellow, and I really can't make that decision. <laughs> and it's funny because I I have three what what I consider I have three like very close best friends. I got you, Doug. I got C Note from um uh, from the the our other wrestling podcast, and I got my childhood um friend Chris as well. So it's it's funny, but but. He, he spells his name with a K, K-R-I-S. Right, because somebody's got to be different between you. Yes. <laughs> so that, that that actually worked out. I wasn't even thinking that until I was actually saying it. I was like, oh, shit, I can actually. But that kind of makes me. Does that make me the child? No, I don't want to be the child. Which one's it the kinda child? It kind of does. It no. kind of does. No. No, let's, no, let's, let, 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 let's make C-Note the child. Actually, if we want to get if we want to get into the weeds about it, I'm the child. Are you? Yeah, because y'all are named Chris. Oh, <laughs> that's true. So you abandoned your Pokemon, you asshole. <laughs> hey, he was coming back. <laughs> so all right, he had, he had food and water. <laughs> yeah, enough for a day. <laughs> well. It was a small EV. He could rationalize. So, all right. So, today's episode, if you haven't noticed, is our good 40th episode, Doug. 40 fucking episodes we have done so far of of Jesus. Pokemon. How many weeks are there in a year, Doug? Real quick. 52. 52. All right. We are literally four months away. For, no, three months. We're three months away from our one-year anniversary. Does that track? It kind of does. When did when did no? Well, okay. When did we drop our first? Well, like, I know when. I know when. Fuck. <laughs> Can you speak, Doug? You do it no. for a living. <laughs> I know we when we started recording. But when did our first episode officially drop? Right. Let's see. It was August, right? No, it was in July. Was it? Oh, it was in July. Let's see. I will have the exact date for you. Because if it was, that might line up. I mean, obviously, we've done a movie, which throws things off by a week. Yeah. Let's see. Because as, oh, as of today, as I'm looking this up, so we are recording this on a Tuesday night. We just finished our first episode um for the weekend but uh i mean for the week but we are doing a two for and it's march 30th is let's see all right so our very first episode dropped on july 28th that's a weird day for a drop but it that that was our drop our drop but that doesn't no, that's well. It's obviously it's not going to line up because, like I say, we've done an extra. Yeah, and to be honest, um, after our first episode dropped, there was a couple weeks off, uh, that we took a break before we actually got started getting our episodes in the can because we were just getting our feet wet, right, with, with that first episode. But whenever episode fifty two drops, I will I will count that as our one year anniversary. Well, I mean, that's, you know, that's because we have released weekly since then. Yes. So, um, but if we want to actually throw things out there for you, let's see. It would be nice if I can actually see when episodes actually dropped on this site. Because <laughs> they changed they. They changed up everything on, on, on the website that I, I upload everything onto, and I can't, they, they don't give me that option anymore. Son Bastard. of a bitch. So I'd have to actually do some digging, but as I'm doing that digging, um, today's episode, um, is the Battling Eevee Brothers, or translated from Japan, the four 
Evil Brothers. All right, give me the original. Yeah. It it aired April 16th, 1998 in Japan. And here in the States, it aired October 27th. You might be saying, well, last week's episode aired November 20th. Right, but we don't have to go back on that because we covered it last week. <laughs> I know, but if they missed that episode. If they missed it, they're not that. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, we went over it last week. So if you want to know the history behind behind that tearjerker episode that Doug doesn't want to talk about anymore, so we're just going to move on. Yeah, that was a week ago. I can, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, Doug, um, this episode aired October 27th here in the States. And on this date in 1988, was the official home video release date, which had 14 million pre-sale date um, reserves. I that uh, yeah, I talk for a living. Um, the movie yeah, e- who talks for a living? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the movie ET premiered on home video on VHS on this day in 1988. Doug. Yes, and this is only significant. For us, because y'all aren't privy to our our pre-show discussions, <laughs> but one of the things that we could have covered last week in our on this on our yeah on our on this date for November twentieth last week was that was that was a day in 1982 where Drew Barrymore hosted Saturday Night Live. Yes, we're assuming in conjunction with the theatrical success of E.T. But we don't know. (laughs) We don't know. It was either E.T. or Firestarter. We couldn't really put our finger on it. Yes. Um, Because E.T. was in June. I think Firestarter was in May. So it's kind of like, eh, you know. Um, And the episode is in November. So you're kind of going, what the fuck, you know. I mean, obviously, it's a holiday episode. You want to get a big star for a holiday-ish episode. Um. August 8th was when we dropped the second episode of Pokemon, by the way. Oh, so there was a bit of a gap. Yeah. Two weeks. Well, there you go. So. Um, so, yeah, for for your date today to be the home video release. It was just is, funny. <laughs> it was kind of funny. <laughs> that was the only reason I chose this. Otherwise... What the original on this date, and I'm not going to go into too much depth on it, but um, on this date in 1954 was Walt Disney's first TV show, Disneyland, that premiered on ABC. And I don't know enough about it to cover it because I didn't look anything up, but that was going to be the original one for today. Yes. To quote Wrestling Chris G, I don't want to do homework. (laughs) Yeah, I already got a. I, I have a slight headache right now, so um, it, the less homework, the better. <laughs> so, but I am but officially really... done with mine, so I can click off of my tab finally. Woohoo! Yeah. So. Save up another spot for that porn. Um. <laughs> anyway, Doug. So yeah, I really don't have too much of a leg to stand on here because I. I, I thought maybe, oh, <clears throat> you know, late October, you know, you're you're talking baseball, you know, you're smack in the middle of the World Series usually. And I thought maybe something, but I might have to wait on that a couple days. We'll have to see how things shake out. So I was just scrolling. So I was like, fuck, and I'm just scrolling and scrolling. And I got to the bottom of the page and I saw that on this date. In 2020, <laughs> the Los Angeles Dodgers defeated the Tampa Bay Rays to win their first world championship in 32 years. Wow. Coincidentally, also, coincidentally, also on 1988. Oh, look at that. So there. I mean, probably not on that date, that year. Um, <clears throat> and I got berated for about two minutes 
talking about that doesn't count it was in a pandemic that doesn't count I, people don't want to remember it was in a pandemic my lakers won the basketball championship and i don't even want to count that because it was in the bubble and i don't want to <laughs> i don't want to count that <laughs> but a win is a win so <laughs> take it where you can get it i was gonna say you know who's counting it? lebron is counting it you know <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> touche, Doug, touche. So. All right, all right. So, um, not too big on the history this week, everybody. And we're going to be getting straight into this week's episode. Now, before we do this, um, and I wanted to put you on the spot here, Doug, because ever since, I I'm sure between episode one and three, you have brought up this episode multiple times. So before we go over this, I want to ask you, what do you remember? What did you remember before rewatching this episode um, that we're about to review right now as a child growing up watching this episode? I remembered a lot now, now that I've watched the episode. I remembered bits and pieces about the garden party. I didn't. I didn't remember how grand it was, but I remembered like it was significant because this was, I mean, we can get into it obviously. Because yeah. We're here. We're here. I remember that it was supposed to be significant because it was going to be this kid's decision. I had forgotten that he tried to leave the EV. So did I. <laughs> so that wasn't, that wasn't great. Um, but yeah, I remember the party and I, re but I didn't remember them straight up just holding the stones and having them evolve. Like, cause I've been thinking, I was like, have, have we seen directly how that happens? And I couldn't remember, but then, you know, cut to the party and old <clears throat> Pollywag just bang right on there. I think that's the only one we see. And maybe a right, no, the right you had already evolved. Yes. So, I mean, that's like the only one that we actually see, but it is just as simple as here's a stone, here's a Pokemon, bippity boppity boo. So, yeah, and well, um, Lieutenant Sarge did hand Ash that Thunderstone and say, if you put hold this up to Pikachu, Pikachu will evolve. But we actually, yeah. ne we but we never got that actual scene of watching a Pikachu evolve. Um, actually, wait a minute. We have seen. We've seen the Moonstone with the Clefairies. Well, yes and no. Like, that was played off like it was part of the moon that was actually coming down and making them evolve. That wasn't somebody as simple as holding a stone to a Clefairy. That was that was presented as some magical ceremony. That's true. This, this chick was just holding a stone to a Polywag. And just, or, and it was no, just like... It, uh, a, a poly whirl into a poly wrath. Po poly wrath. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was just here's a poly whirl. Here's a stone. Now you're a poly wrath. And then a Pikachu into a Raichu. And what what was the other stones that we saw in that scene, Doug? Uh, we saw uh we saw nine tails. So yes. Because all they really talked about all they really talked about was the fire, um, water and um, lightning stone. Yes. But, uh, I don't think they had they not discovered the leaf stone yet. Or well, is that I, not a thing? Am I? I believe. Well, the leaf stone is a thing. So in the original, we have the the thunderstone, the moonstone, the leaf stone, water stone, uh, and the fire stone. I think are the main starter stones. I I do. Who who evolves with the with the leaf stone? That's 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 some homework I can look up right now. Uh, I would have to think. I would have to look at that. What Pokemon evolves? <laughs> it says with a sunstone. No, I need a leaf stone. <laughs> that's a whole nother series. That's yeah. A <laughs> um, leaf stone. Let's see. Eevee evolves into Leafeon. Gloom evolves into Vi Vileplume. So and a, and a Vileplume was there. Yes. 
a vial plume was in the fountain. So they're aware of the leaf stone. It just wasn't brought up. Yes. Th- th- those were the original stones that they had. So fuckers trying to sneak that by me. I'm not, <laughs> not here for that bullshit. <laughs> yeah, they 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 definitely did not mention it, but yeah, it, it was there. It it plays a part. So all right, let's go ahead and and it says Nuzleaf evolves into Shrift Tree. So obviously you don't know who that is yet, Doug, so I will move on. He was in a was he was in Ruby or Sapphire, wouldn't he? I, that name sounds familiar. Uh he might have been. Um yeah, I, I I'd have to do some digging to find out what season of Pokemon he made a debut, but I I'm pretty sure he was. That name sounds familiar. So all right, let's go ahead and get on in. Are you ready, Doug? I am ready. All right. So just like last week, Doug, um, the trio starts this week's episode by walking through a forest. And upon walking through the forest, Pikachu notices or Pikachu uses its ears and is looking around and notices Eevee is in a little cutout of a tree at the bottom with some food, a brand new leash and a bowl of water. Right. And they're kind of dumb. Well, I mean, Ash is. Because he's like, oh, it's Eevee. And he goes into catch mode. And the fucking thing has a leaf. Like, clearly, visit, like, not trying to hide it. Yeah. And then, you know, we actually get Dexter, which we didn't get last. Pardon me, we didn't get last week. No, we didn't. And. Well, in, in Ash's defense, he already has a Pikachu. So what, what what does he need to pull out good old Dexter for on a bunch of Pikachu? Well, I mean, that's fair. But, you know, when has Ash used logic? For real. So, <clears throat> so after Ash is kind of let down that he can't keep Eevee for himself, we find that the tag has an address on it. Yes. And the address says, give me one. 314 Stone Town. Yes. Which we found out is an actual address. So the way that they made this was um, third block, 14th house on Stone, it, or, it, or in Stone Town, right? Right. Okay. That's, that's what I thought. So we go straight from that at um, Brock kind of gives the. Um, um, gives the background of the town. He's like, oh, that's over there by Evolution Mountain, which apparently Evolution Mountain is a a mountain where you can get all of the evolutionary stones. And I'm sitting here going, I played the fucking game. Wasn't no goddamn Evolution Mountain. No, we had to fucking find those stones or be given those stones by an old man inside of a house that we broke into. Right. (laughs) Which is not a good message for our children. Um... And then as we're walking to the address, um, Ash is kind of cycling through um, Eevee's evolutionary options. Which first one was Flareon. And we get Vaporeon. uh, Actually, uh, give me real quick, because this is something that I I did not really know, was that they gave these um, Pokemon um, certain... Um, traits so um, obviously they said um, um, Flareon is the flame Pokemon okay Um, Vaporeon they said is a bubble jet Pokemon bubble jet yes all right and then we go to Jotion and Jotion is the lightning Pokemon right and but it's at this point and obviously we're here in the future now and everyone's like, oh, well, they got cuter versions of Eevee. Eevee goes into Umbreon, Espeon, and Leafleon. But we don't have those yet. So all we know is what Professor Oak knows. And Professor Oak doesn't know about those other ones yet. So we only have the trio. My, my favorite was Umbreon. Oh, really? 
What, what did you like about Umbreon? Because it was black. It was dark. Yes. And Mystique. Always down. With, always, always down. <laughs> so, you, you can't see me. But, you know. <laughs> For the future video, we'll be able to. <laughs> um, so, uh, Misty makes the joke. She's like, oh, I want to Jyoti, I mean, I, I want a Vaporeon so bad. And Ash crosses his arms and he's like, he's like, you always are down with of the water. Of course you would. It's water Pokemon. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, and Missy's like, well, if you really want something, you have to go for it. And then Brock's like, that's it. Third block, number 14. And the, they just gasp because... All of these small houses, and then you have the big old mansion at the end of the block. And it's a big, like like I just said, it's a big old mansion. We cut to a backyard, and there's a big old garden party going on. Yeah, and we get like this big sprawling shot, and we see that there's food and a bunch of people. And then we get a, we get a close-up shot of a poly world turning into a polyrath by virtue of a water stone. Yep, and we and, uh, we pan over, and well, first the Polyrath has to jump in the fountain, and then we see a cloister, cloister, and a vile plume, a starmy, starmy. There's a Volpix, a Raichu, an Executor, an Executor. Yes, and then we get a close-up shot of Jotian. Uh, Vaporeon and Flareon with their respectful um, trainer um, with the Eevee brothers and it's it's funny because I mean it's a nice way that they did it because each of the brothers is dressed um, the color of his Pokemon so you have the first one that's dressed in like aqua gear you have the other and he has blue hair and then the second brother has Jotian he has um yeah orange hair with um with yellow tights and the last brother has red tights with uh with his hair kind of like a flame and it's red very on the nose yes kind of didn't care for it <laughs> so but i mean it, hey it's what makes you remember this episode for, as a child though right it's a kid's show. I understand. <laughs> they did their yeah. job, Doug. They did their job. Well, fine. <laughs> and Ash, Misty, and Brock are all gasping. And they're looking around. They're like, whoa, all these Pokemon are evolving with these stones. This must be an evolutionary party. Blah, blah, blah. And, it, and then out um, in the corner on a big old hill in the... Uh, is, are they in a tree or no? They're just a, they're just sitting on the cliff of a of a hill and they're well, looking down with their binoculars at the evolution party. Well, hold on there, Chico, because um, you skipped a big old chunk here. No, we didn't. Not yet. We, we no, we did. What's that? Because the the brothers come over and wait. Unless no, that's not yet. Not yet. Unless I unless I run it. Did I let it run? <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> Because they, they oh oh shit. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, Team Rocket at this point is looking with the with their binoculars over the cliff, and they're like they're ripe and just ready for the picking. Meowth goes. He's like, it says here, Stone Town has these special stones that help Pokemon evolve. And James is like baloney. That's why we came he came to evolutionary or evolution mountain. Laughed out loud, just the way he said baloney. <laughs> I, I mean, obviously it's not gonna unfortunately if if you're not watching along with us, you're not gonna see but just the way he said baloney made me laugh out loud. It's like baloney. That's the reason I, we came to Evolution Mountain. To get some of those said, special I, stones. I was digging and I didn't find anything, and me out just said you were digging in the wrong spot. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like you dug in Man. the wrong place team rocket scientist and just mm -hmm. like well well uh we're here now and i want some of that food and the stones can wait so they're just hungry so they're up on this and then mountain. they get oh i'm sorry 
I was going to say, then they get scratched for being hungry. Yes. Because why? They, they shouldn't be thinking about food. They should be thinking about getting these Pokemon. Well, I mean, I'm all for not being hungry. You know, and, and we know they're not going to win, so let them get some food. <laughs> exactly. All right. And then from here, we go, uh, we see um, the Jotian brother. He's like, now that we've seen a round of evolutions, how about uh, comparing attacks, eh? He's like, so, Eevee. And then he sees Eevee um, with the trio, and they run over because they're happy because they thought Eevee ran away. Right. And um, uh, the 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 fire brother, I think, doesn't he have him for a second? And he calls out to what's it, Tommy, right? Um, the the blue brother has it. So the Vaporeon. Gotcha. So yeah, Vaporeon and, brother grabs Evie, and they're like, "Oh, we thought he had run away, and thank you for finding him." And then they call over to their little brother. And they're, they're like, oh, wait, oh, they, they they said, Evie is the star. They can finally start the show because this whole party is for that Evie. Right. And then and they, they go, Mikey, your Evie's Mikey. come, come, e your Evie's come home. Right. I'm trying to fit, because they named the brothers. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, the, the brother with the Jolteon is named Sparky. The brother with the Vaporeon is named Rainer. Yep. And the brother with the Flareon is named Pyro. So we're going to do that from now on because otherwise you're going the red brother. The blue. I mean, it's the same <laughs> shit. Yes. If we remember. So Pyro, I, Rainer, say, and what was the lightning? Spark, Sparky. Sparky. Okay. And they say, Mikey, your Eevee's come back. And Eevee is happier than a pig and shit to just go running in the kid's arm. And he, he's just... Oh, so he's doing happy. his little. He's he's just happy. He's just doesn't want anything else in the world. And I, Mikey I, just looks. He just looks angry or sad. He, well, sad. Yeah, I was gonna say. Um, I I want to point out something. Um, Sparky said, um, "Don't lose your Evie again. You'll lose your trainer qualification." Right. So I wanted to point that out because it was a line that kind of jumped out at me when I was watching this episode for the first time. So apparently trainers have qualifications. And if, you, uh, if you're caught abandoning your Pokemon, <laughs> <laughs> that you can lose your qualification. So the key word there is caught because we had this whole discussion at the end of last week's episode. Yes. So... Um. So what's what's that fellow's name um, with the Charmander at the beginning? Uh, Damien. Damien. So he would be without a qualification at this point. Yes. But since Ash took in Charmander, um, he kept his qualification because it was kind of a all right. You can have him. And I guess Butterfree free is excused because that's a natural part in the Butterfree's life cycle. Yes. Right. So, kid show. Duh, kid show. <laughs> Primeape. Primeape, however. Primeape went to go and be a champion. That's a, well, that's a great and, area. And, 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 and he didn't really give it to the guy. He just, he left him there so he can become a champion boxer in that town. But he just never goes back for him. <laughs> right, right. He never goes back for him. <laughs> oh. So, um, but little Mikey looks up at the trainers and he, he with a straight face, goes, why did you bring it back? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. And then the trio, it just looks confused and they're looking around they're like, huh? And Evie's like, Evie, 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 Evie. Oh, it, it, he's just, that Evie is so happy. And the pressure that comes on to Mikey in this scene is just unbelievable. So I, I'm going to laugh if, we, if one day we get an Umbreon and all that. And that's what he transformed his Eevee into. And it wasn't one of those three. But um, no, but, it, it, I, just based on who he is, I guess it would be an Espeon. I don't imagine he'd be able to be out at night. 
Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, um, Sparky then speaks back up. Sparky has a lot of lines in this. He's like, one day... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I I, I kind of feel like I wouldn't be doing this justice, so I kind of have to read this, uh, this kind of line for line because... The pressure that they put on this boy is just unbelievable. So do you mind if I if I kind of read this over, Doug? <clears throat> Knock your socks off. All right. Just like just like how you do when you get into a sobby moment in Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, he goes, one day you'll be a trainer just like us. Do, um, do you really think that you can win your first va- battle with an unevolved evil, Eevee? All of us won our first battles because we evolved our EVs. And there's no other way to win. And the key to your first victory is evolution. And then Mikey's just like, I don't care about battles. I don't care about winning. And then the, the fucking brothers just jump up and they're just like, don't care. And you just see all of the, uh, you see Flareon, Jolteon, and Vaporeon just jump up with their trainers and they, they're like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> and Ash just looked over and he's like, man, they're scary. But um, long story short, um, I'm not going to go through the rest of those lines, but um, Sparky ends up saying, well, um, you, you're going to want to evolve it into a Jolteon, aren't you? And then Pyro goes, you're going to want to evolve yours into a Flareon, aren't you? And then Rainer goes, you want to evolve yours into a Vaporeon, don't you? And just the pressure on this boy. And Evie's just looking there like, I'm fine being an Evie. I'm fine. But yeah, exactly. Um, I thought it was interesting <laughs> when the brothers were kind of going going down the line about, you want to pick, you know, you want to pick mine. They basically did what Dexter usually does. Like yeah. They talked about like, like. You know, they mentioned like Jolteon can fire the spikes out of its back and all that stuff. Oh, yes. And yeah. that Vaporeon can basically make itself disappear, which I, I I completely forgot that it could do. That's a valuable attack. Yeah, it is. Kinda, <clears throat> but yeah, it kind of makes me want a Vaporeon. Fucking sneak nah. up on motherfuckers. No, I was a Flareon with, with the trio. That that was my Pokemon. Yeah, I was, I was always... I always lent <clears throat> fire yep same but all right uh since i took that part uh you want to go over this next part of the scene after they um become dexter for a second uh, i gotta uh i gotta get uh caught because i was po- oh yeah yeah so then the brothers kind of fight amongst themselves yes and then um you know misty kind of can see that um Mikey is kind of concerned with the whole evolution rigmarole. And then you know, and then we kind of get more discussion between the brothers and um My Mikey and then Ash kind of butts in and he's like, he's a little too young to be um battling and and worrying about being a trainer. Which is true. But then the brothers turn it right back around on him. He's like, you should know better than anybody that it, you need to start young if you want to be a Pokemon master. And then... <clears throat> and you uh, have... It, it, he gets to... Oh, I'm sorry. And then Sparky gets to talking, and he's like, you know, why don't you take this Thunderstone and evolve that Pikachu? And I, and I out loud, to nobody in particular, but just out loud said, no, we already had this episode. <laughs> We're not going down that route again. We don't need to do it again. And then um, um, uh, Pyro looks at Brock and says, what do you have, Brock? And Vulpix is just randomly out. Uh, he goes, well, I have this Vulpix that'll turn into nine- Ninetales, and he just flicks him with thi- uh, Firestone. Yeah. And, um, and then and we then, get uh, a shot of all eight stones, and I'm I'm going to look these stones over real quick um because there's there's one in particular that i don't really understand and you're gonna have to kind of talk me through this one doug but i think the leaf stone out of all the stones looks the weirdest to me 
because it's well, literally it's just, a, it's just a leaf in the middle of a stone in a piece of rock basically yeah it's not even it's not like the thunderstone or the firestone that we can clearly see are like shiny objects yes so just all right so we have we have a firestone we have a thunderstone we have a leaf stone I'm going to guess that's a moonstone. We have another leaf stone, another fire stone, a water stone, and then another thunderstone. So they don't really differentiate too much. No, but they also probably didn't anticipate um, like video playback on demand. Yeah. Where people like 30 years from now, we're going to be able to slow down and rewind and scrutinize every scene. <laughs> and they say, oh, that looks good enough. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, they're, they're looking at all the stones. They're like, wow, water stones, thunder stones, fire stones. These are awesome. And, and Brock is like, you've really collected a lot of them. And then apparently you can only harvest at certain times. Yes. Which again, I did. I had part no, of the game. It was not part of the game. <laughs> so, and we go straight from that back to Team Rocket, and I kind of feel like at, they they redid the exact same scene <laughs> that they did at the beginning because it's literally them looking down again, and their clothes are still hanging up. They haven't moved an inch, and I <laughs> I really feel like. They were pretty lazy on this part of the episode. Well, again, it was good enough for 1998. <laughs> they didn't want playback. <laughs> no, absolutely not. And um, Team Rock is looking and he's like, ah, look at all those beautiful stones. It's like a rock concert. Ha <laughs> ha. I hated that. Hated that. Boom. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> you didn't like that, Doug? No, I didn't like that. Oh. Horrible. I mean, we didn't even talk about last week where fucking James is shooting the, the net gun and goes, hey, check out our website. Oh, shit. No, we didn't. But, yeah, that's when internet was just just coming out. Yeah. So I can, I can only imagine someone made a website called TeamRocket.com. You know what? Um, I, I, I wonder. Can we pause for a second? And if I do you think something janky will come up if I actually look up teamrocket.com? Well, I don't I don't care what you do because it ain't doesn't affect my computer. But um I'm gonna keep going because it's eleven o'clock. Um <laughs> Oh, it Team Rocket is listed for sale for ten thousand dollars. Oh shit no. Hell no. <laughs> I'm good. <clears throat> so we already talked about we we kind of skipped around. We already talked about the scene where um, the brothers say that Ash and Brock should evolve their Pokemon. Yep. Um, and then we get a, a cute little scene of um, Horsey swimming in the in the fountain. But by logic of this episode, Horsey shouldn't be around because he can't be evolved by a stone. Um, and then we see Mikey sitting there with a glass of Tea or, or something, possibly juice. It's not really specified. And Missy's and like, Missy are, you, are you hungry? She comes over. She got a big plate of food with like meatballs and looks like maybe a couple carrots, a couple pieces of sandwiches. And Psyduck, just, Psyduck just takes a sandwich. <laughs> takes a sandwich, but then gets popped in the head. Like this little boy wasn't going to eat all of that all at once. Like fucking let Psyduck have a damn sandwich, but just gets popped. Just straight up punched in the head, just top of the head, just bang. And, and then and then Evie comes over and Evie starts eating the food and Pikachu comes over and they're not getting popped. Well, because they're cute, you see. <laughs> Psyduck's just an idiot. Uh but Misty makes the point where she's like, it doesn't really seem like you really want to make your Eevee evolve, do you? And Mikey's like, Well, I like my Eevee the way that the way that he is. I don't, I don't I don't really need to I don't really care about battling or evolving Pokemon. And then he it's the line that if you have a soul fucking hits you. He goes, 
I just want him to be my best friend. And Evie goes, Lee. And I <laughs> fucking died. Inside. Did you hear the rumor? And I, I know I know it's 11 o'clock, but did, did you hear the um, rumor that Evie was supposed to be uh, the first Pokemon in in the, the in the game originally? That it was supposed to be between Pikachu and Eevee, which is why they came out with Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu? Well, right. I mean, that was going to be my response to that. I mean, that has to be... And that makes sense, because from Eevee, even Gen 1, you've got three options. Yep. You know, if you wanted it. So... You know, so yeah, that makes sense. I mean, you also... I mean, it didn't... It wasn't for discussion, but you all... If you're going by that logic, you also could have gone with Ditto. Yeah, you could have. But they yeah, they they wanted they they, they, they 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 wanted to make sure Ditto had it had its own episode <clears throat> and it's hard as hell to find. Just saying. Right. All right. So, but um, but Mikey does end up revealing that he was gonna go back and get his EV after the party was over. Um, he just did not want to be forced to evolve his Eevee because Eevee is his best friend. Right. So then, so that, that kind of makes us feel better watching this episode. And then we see um, Eevee and Pikachu are having a, a full-on conversation. And then um, the the brothers focus their attention and they say it's it's time to make your decision so what do you think mikey and he stands up and he starts to say something but then team rocket start throwing well hold on hold on we 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 bounced over the part where misty flat but basically said if if nobody claimed this eevee i was gonna take eevee and make it a vaporeon oh and he didn't seem too upset about it no he didn't (laughs) he's like oh that's neat (laughs) <laughs> he said, you were, Missy? And that's when um, Evie and Pikachu start having their little their little talk. But and yeah. Misty's like, well, if you don't if you don't want to evolve your Evie, stand up and say something. And that's when he kind of grows a little bit of balls. And that's when he was going to say something. But then, you know, Team Rocket started raining down the pop the poppers. Yeah. And then we get their spiel again. It's two episodes in a row they don't get interrupted. Yeah. Um I, I, I was shocked. But um but as they're going over their spiel, their stump <laughs> their stomachs st- get the best of them and they they're jump stuffing over in their face. They are just housing this food. <laughs> they're like, Well shit, it's it's right here. We can, Pokemon can wait for a second. Let's go and eat this food. And they go straight from that to the Eevee brothers. Getting introduced to Team Rocket by Ash and Brock and Flareon, Jolteon, and Vaporeon were not going to have any of it. No. And so they were right in there. Oh, yes, they were right in there. No, they were. And then uh, uh, wheezing throughout a smoke screen. And when and uh, Pidgeotto was out there, he did gust. And when the literally when the smoke cleared. All the Pokemon were gone, except for Psyduck. Yes, because nobody and nobody Pidgeotto. wants Psyduck <laughs> and Pidgeotto. But let's let's talk about how quick fucking Team Rocket was to get all those Pokemon while they were stuffing their face. Yeah, this is why I call shenanigans, because um, there's no way. And they got all the stones. Because it, yeah, it was just the three of them, and like you said, they were going absolutely ham on all the food. But it it was it was right there, and then Misty's all like mad because she's still standing next to her Psyduck because they they literally took all the Pokemon but Psyduck, and she's like they didn't. She she literally goes, "Why couldn't they take you?" <laughs> she really hates like, fucking Psyduck. She is so mean like, to that. Pokemon. Like, God damn. Like, if you don't like Psyduck so much, fucking transfer it back over to your sisters and have your sisters evolve it into a Golduck. But um, it's at this point, Brock sees the balloon, uh, the Meowth balloon going away. And that's when Ash tells Pidgeotto, attack it. And Pidgeotto just flies right through the balloon and the balloon's going down. Hard. 
Yes. And when they. But when the balloon crashes. They're not there. Right. Where are the Pokemon? And where is Team Rocket, Doug? <laughs> they are driving away in a, in a truck Jeep. with. In a Jeep with all the Pokemon in cages. And at the very back of the cage is Horsey. Spinning out a in its own cage, just doing a trail of ink. Like Hansel and Gretel doing <laughs> breadcrumbs. Just puh, 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 and nobody's paying it. No mind for nothing. And Pidgeotto's on the scent and he immediately picks up on the ink blots. And we have to point out how smart this horsey is because Oh, it's brilliant. Because Horsey, back when Misty got it back in the Tentacruel episodes, it it was a very fucking smart Eevee. Like Eevee is very good with its ink. Horsey. Or, I mean, not, not Eevee, uh, Horsey. Horsey is very good <laughs> with its ink. That would be impressive, though. That uh, would be very good. I mean, that's a different evolution <laughs> altogether. <laughs> so, because remember, Horsey even made a tentacruel out of its ink in water. Oh, that's true. That's very true. So, Incredible. so we have that. We get a shot of Meowth in, in the back of the Jeep. Um, surrounded by all the food because Team Rocket happened to take all the food as well during during this little getup. And we go straight from that to, as you said, Pidgeotto following the trail and goes back and tells the trio about the trail and they go and they find it. Well, well they do, but first we get... Um... A nice scene of Team Rocket having a picnic, and they say they're eating like winners, and James says, we lose so much, I forget what it tastes, and he gets popped in the side of the head. Yep. And, she's, and she says, I'm sick of calling us losers. From now on, we're going to be the champions of the world. Yep. Which is funny. And champions and then, of and the world sounds amazing, James says. And then they go and they decide that it's time for them to evolve, Evie. And shock, surprise, horror. There's three of them. And they all three have different choices for Evie's evolution. And they go down the, the line and they say, well, Vaporeon's the most evil. No Jolteon is. No Flareon is. And they're about to come to blows again. But then Jesse blows a whistle and says, well, the obvious solution is we hold stone, the three stones up at the same time and see what happens, which is beyond dumb, I think. It is. Like, what? but honestly, what happens if you hold all three stones up to Eevee at the exact same time, Doug? I gotta imagine they cancel each other out. You think so? I gotta imagine. If the game turns around and goes, look, if you're not gonna make a decision. <laughs> but then we get freaking Ash Coming up as they're getting ready to put the stones up to Eevee and go, Squirtle, water gun. And Squirtle. And Psyduck. And, yep. Psyduck comes out and just has the worst water gun ever. He's got a very weak stream. Yep. <laughs> you, you, you said that on purpose. Yeah, I did. I know you did. <laughs> so... Uh, and Psyduck is so happy about his little stream. And Psyduck's like, Psy! And Missy's like, that is so embarrassing. And just calls Psyduck back. Squirtle, it looks <laughs> like it's up to you. So Squirtle comes out <laughs> and just blasts Team Rocket. Misses Jesse, but hits James and Meowth all the way over to a tree. Right. Because Squirtle's got a strong stream. Um... <laughs> and all the all the Pokemon are out of the cages at this point, except for Eevee, who is still in Team Rocket's possession. Yes. And they say, "How did you How did you figure out our plan? How did and, you find us?" And they say, "Well, Horsey was was leading us to the way with her ink with his ink blots, and um." Uh, Jesse says something like, "Well, I guess we'll just have to keep our keep this Eevee for ourselves." 
And Misty says, I'm not going to let that happen, you old hag. Which shocked me initially, because I was like, I don't remember old hag. I don't <laughs> remember that either. And Miss, Miss, I mean, not Misty, uh, Jesse's like, what did you just call me? And then her hair, it's red, so it starts turning into flames um, behind her. And she seems like she's blowing out fire and fucking me out. Goes, wow, Jesse just evolved into a Flareon. <laughs> Which I, I got a little bit of a chuckle out of. I mean. It was dumb, but it, it served its purpose. And then Jesse's like, are you guys ready to battle? And Jesse yeah. or James is like, I guess. Okay. <laughs> so they all start to battle again. Arbok and Weezing come out of their Pokeballs. And the Eevee brothers are ready to start battling as well. And so... Well, it, no, because they, they say Eevee is our brother's Pokemon. You know, this is our fight. Yep. Vaporeon attack. Jolteon attack. Flareon attack. And freaking Flareon, Jolteon, and Vaporeon all uh, get the wrath of Arbok's poison sting attack. And Jolteon does pen missile. And <coughs> pardon me. From there, um, Weezing get um, Weezing says. Um, sludge attack, Vaporeon used acid armor, um, and after acid... That acid attack, I mean, I know we said it before, but I'll say it again, because get to see it in practice, that's badass. I know. And fucking Weezing's just polluting the water, and Vaporeon just jumps out and just tackles Weezing. And <clears throat> um, Pyro goes, don't let them get away, Flareon. Fire spin and Flareon just um, puts the forest on fire with a big old fire spin. Evie just is a wall of flame. Evie is terrified inside of this cage, and Jesse's like, "We're not finished yet." And Arbok comes back and tackles Jolteon, and Weezing hits Vaporeon and Flareon with a sludge attack. So they're Team Rocket now has the upper hand. So what happens next, Doug? I gotta remember to not let this thing run that far. <laughs> so James, James goes, he's like, so you thought you could beat us, did you? We're the champions of the world, Team Rocket. And freaking Misty holds up Horsey and Horsey does its acid attack in just, Jesse's just a, face. Blah. <laughs> and, and is Evie's that... cage goes flying, and Mikey's there to catch it, and Pikachu hits him with a thunder shock or a thunderbolt. One of the two doesn't. It's interchangeable at this point. And James is like, "We're chip. We're winners. We're champions. We can't lose." And Ash is like, "What? They still want to fight?" <laughs> and then they look over and they see the brothers are down with their Pokemon. Um, so Mikey, so gets to, down. Mikey gets the brilliant idea to start battling himself. Which, you know, a fine time to make that decision. Yep. So he's like, Evie, it's time for our first battle ever. And Evie's like, Evie! And that and Ash is like, that guy is pretty brave. And he's like, Evie, take down attack now. And, and we just see Evie just running and picking up speed. It's going and it just apparently it's got the, the tackle among all tackles because he <laughs> just hits one shot and they all just go flying. Yep. And it's from that. Uh, <clears throat> it, Jesse's like, it looks like the champions team rocket is blasting off again. And Evie. And Mikey are the winners of this battle, and it's a great moment. And the brothers come over, and they basically are like, "Man, you you won it. You didn't even have to evolve your EV." And he said, and that's when Mikey finally—I mean, obviously—he finally gets the courage to say, "I'd like to be an EV trainer." And one of the brothers says, "Well, if you wanted, if you felt like that, you should have said something." And he's like, "You dumb fucks." He he has been saying Which I mean that. he should have. Well, I mean but he 
I mean, he attempted to before Team Rocket, you know, started wrecking the garden party. Yes. But he should have said, hey, look, I really love this Eevee. So, and the Eevee brothers go, well, that really does make us the four Eevee brothers. We have the evolutions and you have the regular, so we're the four Eevee brothers. So what happens when they get Vaporeon and Umbreon and Leafeon and isn't there an ice one now and all this stuff? Like, do they have to start calling in the cousins? Glaceon. Glaceon. Yes. So... I'm guessing is that or um, they each end up getting another Eevee and just evolve them. <laughs> 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 so they each have two e- um, Eevee evolutions at this point. But at that point, they, they're going to have to split their hairs this time. <laughs> like Umbreon is going to have to go with Flareon because red and black just looks good together. Right. <laughs> and then Rainer is going to have to have half dark blue and half light blue because he he has to get glaceon oh yeah i mean that's yeah that's that's not even up for discussion <laughs> so, so and i don't know i don't know who sparky would get unless he gets um espion hey i would i would think he would get espion because you know thunder light that's true okay yeah espion process of elimination you know i don't know <laughs> And then Mikey is just sitting there with his Eevee still. I don't want to evolve. Who, who is probably like level 70 and is probably stronger than all of them. Yep. Because he didn't, he didn't forcefully evolve him. Remember what happened to Raichu? Raichu was, uh, was slow because he, was, he evolved too quick. He didn't have the ability to pick up the speed that you get as a Pikachu. Yep. But it's at this point we so, get the end of the episode. They're back at the garden party. And uh, Mikey is thanking the trio, especially Misty, for helping him and giving him the courage to stand up to his brothers. Gives him, gives her a flower. Yes, it's all sweet, and they do a little pinky shake, and we're having a good time. And the the brothers are doing to Mikey what the wild Pikachu were doing to Pikachu last week, <laughs> throwing and up the baby. <laughs> Throwing up the baby, and Misty says, "I wish I had an old, uh, had some older brothers." And Ash, apropos of nothing, goes, "You could be my brother, Misty," and she just knocks him over. And, <laughs> and what, what did Brock say? What did, Brock says? That, grasshopper has. Yeah, hold on. I'm I'm gonna get that line right now. He I'm said he say, said Grasshopper has little sense but big mouth. <laughs> big mouth. I remember the big mouth. I didn't. Yeah. And, and then Pikachu, you know, Pikachu does the little hand hand gesture as well, mocking Brock. And then at the very end of the episode, we're setting up for this big group picture, and for some reason, Psyduck's taking the picture, and of course, he doesn't make it. He trips, and you just we just see his ass. And we, I mean, everybody else is standing, having in perfect position, and everything. And there's just Psyduck, just sprawled out. And I just and... want to point out that every single Pokemon in this picture can evolve with a stone besides Horsey. Horsey is the only and... one in the photo that cannot evolve. I'm looking at every oh, single Oh, Psyduck one. can't... Psyduck? Oh, wait, Psyduck can't evolve either. So, yeah, I Mi- Mi- say, I could... Mi- Misty's just breaking all the rules in this photo. Fucking so, up. I couldn't remember if... I couldn't remember if Psyduck was a level or a stone evolution. No, Psy- Psyduck is a level. But it would have made... So... But, so, because... Speak, Doug. The brothers asked... You know, they see Pikachu, obviously, because Pikachu doesn't do Pokeballs. Yes. So they say, hey, you should evolve that into a Raichu. Brock's full picks are just magically there. For them to go, what do you have, Brock? But nobody turns to Misty because I mean, obviously, Misty is a different case because she has a Star You and a Star Me already. Because doesn't Star You's not a stone, is it? No. Well, fuck me then. Never mind. <laughs> yep, it says right here: Psyduck evolves into Golduck at level thirty-three. 
So it's not even that hard of an evolution. No, not at well, all. Thirty-three. I mean, that's that's basically around the time where your Charizard evolved. Yeah. So, but overall, good episode. Um, oh the... no, no, that should have been the end of the episode, but we get this last little tag on with Team Rocket, and they're eating their dinner out of cans. Yeah. And James is all dejected. He's like, it's back to eating um, the lunch of losers. And, and what does Meowth say? Because Meowth gets pop. He said, or it's the lunch of future champs. <laughs> and he gets popped, and then Jesse says something about Mark our words. We'll be back at some point or something. Really. Yes. And they all go, we'll be champions one day. And then we get a nice little sunset. And Jesse goes, I mean, not Jesse, James goes, yeah, someday. And it's. Yeah, the be, photo should have been the end of the episode. I didn't, we didn't need this. No, we didn't. But that's the end of the episode. And what a great episode it was. So was this episode as good as you remembered? It was. I mean, like I say, there is there was a bit of like, "Hey, buddy, fuck you," kind of stuff. Like, Evie being so happy to be back with Mikey, and then Mikey not giving a shit. I was like, "What?" The absolute fuck. <laughs> so. You know, and just Evie is just he, he's Evie's cute enough to have been the mascot had they gone that direction. Yes. And Evie was the who's that Pokemon of this episode, by the way. Right, we didn't bring that up. And we're not going to bring it up on obvious ones. I mean, yeah. like you said, I think you said before, they could have pulled something and said, hey, it's Polyrath. But. But. But yeah, that, that is the episode. So, good episode, Doug. It's nice to have oh, yeah. this, this two for done. And we're back. We're back on track now that I got my office back and it's painted, and looking all sorts of pretty. Don't have a dusty downstairs anymore. Nope. Hosting my son's birthday party last week, and it was a good old time in the basement. <coughs> Fuck me. Ooh. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. I'm an atheist. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say something smart ass. <laughs> Uh, if I'm anything, I'm agnostic. I know something's up there. <laughs> so, all right. Well, Dougie. Isn't that a Dane Cook bit? Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Bless you. I'm an atheist. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know if you were a Dane Cook fan, so I didn't want to bring it up. Where Where has he been? I was about to ask. I wonder. I wonder if he made all his I mean, money on his HBO special and just said, fuck the world. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did a couple movies. He's probably doing all right. So. All right. Well, other than that, we can go ahead and get ready to end today's episode, Doug. So go ahead and say your goodbye, Doug. Goodbye, Doug. All right. And this is Wrestling Chris G telling all of you. Don't miss next week's episode because it is called Wake Up Snorlax or translated from Japanese. Wake up! Kabagan. Yeah, give me the American version. Uh. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. <laughs>